Hello everyone. So as I mentioned previously, that we're going to apply the BI process using one of uh, the tools, uh, Asasayas or Talent. So this time we're going to use Talent. And as we see here, we have a star schema uh, that contains two five tables and four dimension, the project, customer, employees, and time. So first of all, let's say let's see the, the, the data sources here. We have uh, SQL Server data source and also Access data source. And to get the, the SQL Server data source, we just need to uh, execute this uh, query here that will give us uh, the Norton database. As we see here, we have many tables and uh, views. So we have categories, customer, I think this is uh, customer demo, yeah, customer demography, and so on. The access table, uh, there are the same tables here. We have some views and uh, other table like orders and authorities and etc. So to create the staging area uh, here, uh, we need to create a project in Talent. So create a new project and give it a name. And then area. So before starting, let's talk about the staging area. As we know that the staging area is used for cleaning and transforming the data. But I know you're wondering that we can do the same process using ETL data warehouse directly. But actually when you have the large data source and you need the lower fork, so you can't overload your ETL with this too much processes. So it's better to separate these steps and to just to prevent the overloading. Okay, now let's just connect our torrent to access and SQL Server database. So how we can do that? We are going to the metadata here, DB connections, and create a new connection. Then we give the name to the database connection. Uh, first of all, let's start with access. Just give it like access and DB name here. Press next. Uh, we are going to use the DB type access. Uh, we are going to do the file and browse the file here and go into Northern Access. Yeah, good. Uh, okay, so uh, here is going to be work fine because I did some configuration. So if the, the connection doesn't work for you, you can just let uh, in the comment below uh, your questions and I can answer them by making a video to explain those uh, steps to, to make the connection successful. So press OK here, then finish. Okay, now what you are going to do, you are going to retrieve the schema. So retrieving the schema. It means like loading the, the tables. Then we're going to press next. Okay, what we are going to choose as the tables. As we see here in our schema, we have the time, employees, and customers, and product. In the fact tables, we have orders and order details. So we are going to take the customer, employee, order details, order, and we have the product, I think here. And what else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Let me press next. Uh, before finishing, we need to be aware of this attributes here, attachment. It's a access, at, access attributes that we don't need it in our data warehouse, I mean, staging our data warehouse but it causes a problem uh, when i use it uh, before making this video i had this problem i don't know why so just to get get rid of, rid of it and we are going to i think it's an access attribute yeah so here an employee also just uh, delete i think maybe it's a file or whatever uh, attribute okay next finish after retrieving the schema of uh, SQL, I mean access, we need to retrieve the schema of uh, SQL Server. We need to create a new connection and just type SQL Server here, uh, SQL DB, and press next. Then we are going to use Microsoft, I think. Yeah, Microsoft SQL Server. For the parameters of the login, uh, we need to change the port here, the server name and the db name and also the schema for the db name is not meant it's obvious okay. 
And for the schema review, because there are so many schemas in our Notion database, there is system and uh, other schemas. What we need here just to retrieve our tables, as we see here before uh, the category name or whatever table name, there is a DBU here, which is the schema of the, uh, the, the Notion. And uh, for uh, the porn server, why we are uh, why we don't need the login and password because SQL Server use the Windows authentication. So what we're gonna need here, we need to go to the PC and properties and gonna change and we need this name of the uh, of the computer, which is the name of the server, the local host. So we are going to torrent, then we type and cut paste the, the server name for the port. Uh, we are going to SQL Server. Configuration Manager, and we are going to Protocol under the SQL Server Network Configuration, the TCP IP here, double click, IP address, and we are going to copy the TCP 994C. Okay, so in all of this configuration, as I said, I will make a video if you have any problem with them. So we are going to Thailand and uh, paste it here. For additional parameters, uh, we can add uh, additional parameters uh, here. But if it doesn't work without it, it's okay. If it doesn't, just type here integrity, integrity, security equal to true. Okay, it does work. Great. Now we need to retrieve the schema. How are we going to do that? The same process we did with access, retrieve the schema next and uh, what we are going to load the categories uh, the customers employee and order details and all that and the product while we are achieving the categories here because as in access the the table of uh, product has the name of the categories but in our case we don't have it so we need to uh, to take the category table with us good next okay no, we don't care, we just press OK and finish. Good, so we just finished with the part of the network and we are going to pass the job design. Okay, good. So here, let's pass to the job design. Uh, in the job designs, we do uh, our processes and transforming, I mean, data transform and clean. So let's create our first job. Let's name it customer. Sorry, customer. Okay, finish. And uh, okay, as we see here, we are having our first job here. And in the right here, in the right panel, we are we having we are having uh, some components that we are going to use to process our data. And now let's start with the access table. So let's, uh, as we said, we are going to uh, uh, use the customer uh, job here. So we need the customer table here, drag and drop it in the job design. We are going to select the input, which is like DB input, okay? And we are also need uh, the, the table, I mean the SQL Server table, which is the customer, okay? And uh, we are going to use the type of input, okay? Nice. Now, how we are going to join these tables, how we are going to merge them in one table and having the same, uh, I mean, the same attributes with the same type. The, the first component to use is the tmap. Tmap, like, uh, it, it helps you to convert your data and uh, uh, do some processing. So we are connecting our customer table of the uh, access data database uh, with the tmap. Okay, we open up. And now, what you need to do, uh, we know that we need uh, in our schema, we need uh, the DB time, the, 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 I mean, uh, the customer ID, the company name, and the customer name. Okay, good. So, let's create output. Okay. Then, before going to process, let's see something. If we check here uh, the customer table in the SQL Server, we're gonna see something. We are having like a string uh, string ID. However, in Access, we are having, I think, integers or integers. 
uh, the customer here yeah, open up yeah we are having our auto increment integer integers so to join this data and have uh, like the same values i mean to not have a problem we should convert the id both of them into string good so uh, to do that we need to create a variable here we need to drag and drop this uh, column here okay and how we are going to convert it like we are using uh, the java java function so if we click here in the double three dots here open up a window we can type here dot to string as you see here uh, it's like java's functions okay to string it converts the id here to string good then what we are going to do to press ok okay then we are going to drag uh, this variable here and we can name it here to customer uh, customer ID. and we are given a length of five be aware that all the type here and the configuration should be the same in sql server just to be able to make them in one table okay next what we are going to do we are going to uh, we are needing i mean we need the uh, the customer name or the company name first let's start with the company name which is easy Dra just drag and drop here the company and uh, name it to company to company uh, company name. okay good okay so here we are having 50 we need to convert it to 40 and uh, here as i said it's newable we need to delete that Okay, after that, we need to create our customer name. To create our customer name, we see that we don't have it here as an attribute, so we have the first name and last name. What we are going to do is to concatenate the first name and the last name. Okay, so we just uh, press here and just add. As I said, it's like we are using Java. And now we are having the name. Good. Uh, yes, we need to make it not new but okay good just we just finished for our access table team up what we are going to do that now we are going to pass the customer sql server okay and um, we are going to create team up just drag and drop uh, the line here and just write team up and now we are having the team up of sql server and what we are going to create now an output then we are dragging dropping here the customer id give it a name of customer id with uh now we need to delete the key yeah we should not have a key here and also drag and drop here the company name and uh should have the same name the same schema and for the contact name which is the name of the customer we should rename it to customer yeah. okay delete the newable option here and uh, it should be here 50 as i said i should the, the team up should have the same uh configuration good i think we just finished for uh, uh the team up now what we need to do is to join those uh table so Okay, how we are going to do that, we are going to use the tunit component in the search toolbox here. We drag it and drop it here, then we uh, right click and pick the output one here. And the team up, second team up also need to pick the output two. And here, as we see, there is an error. How to fix this? Just double click here and edit the schema. I select all the rows here and just uh, translate it to the right okay and now when we press ok we don't have any problem okay so we need before to finish this job we need to make sure that there is no redundant data here how we're going to do that we're going to need to use the t uh, unique row uh, let me use the yeah t unique yeah this is the unique row here what does it do it like fetch the data here if there is uh, any null value any, any redundant value uh, it it has like two options you can delete them or you just 
uh, if you want to pick only the not non redundant value, you can take them. Uh, uh, otherwise, you can take uh, uh, the redundant value. It, it's, it's like a uh, conditional uh, splitting. Uh, so in the configuration of this component, we need just to pick the name here. If like they have the same name, uh, we better to delete them. And finally, what we are going to do, we need to create our uh, staging area uh, connection. How we are going to do that, we are going to SQL Server here, and we create a new database and name it staging area okay so we are having now our, our, our database what we need to do is to create a connection in talent in the metadata uh, in db connection uh, we name it staging area then next uh, the, DB, the db access is like microsoft sql server then we are going on microsoft sql server uh, we are going to name the, the db name staging area okay and for uh, the porn server is the same configuration as we said uh, earlier so what we need here is to copy the name here and for the port we need to the tcp ip and copy the port okay i think it's okay uh, we can like we can add our schema i mean add the schema for our uh, databases we can name it maybe say Oh. Yeah. Okay, after collecting here, what we need to do is to drag and drop the staging area here and make it as an output, not input. And drag and drop the unique hero here into the staging area. And double -click, click in staging area here. We are going to name the table. Uh, let's name it customer. Okay. Here in auction of tables, uh, we know the staging area is a temporary table, so we can use like create table if it doesn't exist or drop table if it exists. And we pick auction on data is to insert. Now let's press start in the job. Yeah, before that, we need to save the job. As we see the jobs are starting here the component and uh, now we are having like 120 rows because 21 29 plus 91 is like 120 good and if we are going to our database here staging area tables and here our table customer if we are going to see the data here it is okay we have customers id company name customer name and the SQL Server table is here in below, which is great. So this is how it works in uh, in the customer job. Next, we are going to see the employee job.